Good evening, it's VJ Franz K. I started another save here in Such Art, and this time I decided to do the creative mode, which is basically you don't have to do the story elements to um, participate in everything else. You just, everything is unlocked from the beginning, and I also noticed that they have a they have another mode where it is uh, a sped up mode which is designed for streamers and people like that which I probably should have selected from my first demonstration video but I didn't think of it but um, anyway liked this doodle it's a, a bird guy there with uh, glasses or something but this time I am using the uh, game controller instead of the mouse and keyboard just to see how easy it is and it's it's really not very easy to draw with a game controller either but um, we'll see what happens when they have the graphics tablet supported but um, now there is also this incinerator here um, I can throw items in there to get rid of them and uh, the sculpture is uncovered, and there are some other things. Sculpture of a tree that I've already started sort of uh, spray painting on just to see what it would be like to do that. Um, but almost everything else in the game appears to be a flat surface. Are, is, is basically a flat surface, whereas this, this is the most dimensional object that you can actually paint on. And that's cool. I Maybe the, uh, the painting engine doesn't totally work as well for a dimensional object as for the flat things, but, um, but it would be interesting to be able to get polygon items and shapes to be able to paint on, but uh, there's something in here. Wonder what it could be. I, I think I know, but let's open it. Friendly robot. We hope he's friendly. going to follow me. He's looking. Alright, here he's moving. He's moving. So, see what he's up to. Also, there was this room and I was making squiggles on the walls. Already it started to look kind of like a, a distant, the distant hills and then a road going down this way or something. But this is that extra room where you get to do whatever you want with the walls and stuff. Even though you can use all the walls and everything else. Now there's still some other tools that I'm not sure where they are hiding. They're waiting. They're waiting to be uh, discovered or something. Or maybe they're not available in this thing, but one thing I wanted to oops, try and pick up the bucket. It takes a bit of time to adjust to being ready for using uh, the controller to operate everything, but um, another thing I noticed was that it was possible to It was possible to take this pallet thing and I can place my bucket. I said I can place my bucket. Hope they didn't change that. Pick up the bucket. Now place it down under. There we go. Alright. So now I could 
Oh, I see. Rotate the rotate your pallet left and right. But um, calculate a color that I want. What's that color going to be? Maybe this bright purple. Why not? And is it going to work? Can I fill up my bucket? Maybe not. Did they they did they fix that? Put down the bucket. Try it again. A big blob of paint. Yes, that's doable. Maybe I have to get it up on the thing in order to do that. Pick it up. Carry it. Maybe it doesn't work. Oh well. But, um, pick up this pallet. Place it on here. There. Large blob of purple. And how about some other colors? Bright yellow. Rotate it. Okay, now pick up. Pick up this. This is not necessarily what they told you to do in your beginning art class. And maybe in your advanced crazy art class they would teach you to do that, but huh, how interesting. Get the roller. Roll up some of this purple since it, since it is here. Roll it. So now I'm using the right the right trigger and the right um, joystick to move the um, move the brush or other items that I'm handling.
pouring out a bunch of paint on a canvas directly. That music is kind of uh, heavy, isn't it? toss them back to near near the holders they will fall into the holders so I guess they are slightly magnetized to that purpose I see the paint is is really wet so I can I can smudge that purple by going through it with the red as it would be with real paint, not exactly as it would be, but similar. Ah, oh, see, I'm pulling, I'm pulling up some of that freshly wet yellow off the canvas and then moving it around. And you can say, oh, well, Photoshop doesn't do that, does it? But we're not in Photoshop for a reason here. We're um, trying to do art in a spontaneous way, instead of a totally controlled way, and uh, using my joystick instead of mouse. Really quite difficult to get the shape, but that's okay. What does this need? I'm getting a weird vision of this uh, figure now, that be like a volcano or something like that. So pick up yellow paint and uh, scattered. I'm gonna raise the lifter a little bit to raise it. The way the spray paint looks, it really seems to have kind of a halo around it. I wonder if that's a weird uh, part of the, the algorithm that it pushes out some of the other color when it is um, going onto the surface there. I imagine it's hard to write a program for exactly how paint would mix on a physical canvas. Oh, Robot is happy? Alright. He likes that I am painting. That is my purpose here on the space station, so better hop to it, right? <laughs> he got worried because I chucked that can paint. it up. Carry it over here. More spray. Wait. The thing is, the more you spend with computer art programs, the more you think, oh, I'll go back to physical art for a while. Because it's more immediate where I can just wave my hand and actually do this stuff. Volcano Skull continues. Where'd Robot go? Oh, there he is. Alright. And another can of bright red. He is 
eyes, winking happily. like to do with paint is go back to the background color with paint over and then it seems like I was um, by painting by painting with um, the same color as the original background it's almost like you're it's almost like you're erasing the paint from the canvas not quite and in fact, with this app, it is possible to perfectly erase paint from the canvas if you want to do that. You can, but um, with the, the water and the sponge, and in the demo, there was also a um, there was also a thing which was like a mop, which was designed for cleaning. Messy uh, things around your studio. If you are spray painting and you overshoot the edge of your work or something like that, but it could also be used to mop the surface of your painting while you're doing it and get sort of giant erasing going on there. Volcano. The those white lines, they're almost like hands coming up, aren't they? Hands of this volcano figure. He's flying all around and investigating whatever he wants to do. Do a little bit more with my wide brush. Be closer. <laughs> He's 
that sinister are silly. It would be a bit of both. Um, I also looked at my virtual reality thing, which is up here, and it says it will save all of the pictures that you did in the past that you sold. Oh, he went, he went to sleep. Can I paint him? Oh no, I can paint him! Oh, that could be trouble. He's gonna take a bath or something. Come on back. Your paint job isn't finished. Not yet. see if he lets himself stay painted or not, but <laughs> that's funny. See these little things. Hopefully he didn't get dis depressed by that, but it's like he knew he was signing up for working in an art studio, and that is something that might happen. So this time I remembered to set the soundtrack volume so that you could hear it. And uh, what I did was I didn't specify the input on the video uh, recording app but this time I did. More bright yellow. Or a big blob of it. Absorb a big blob of it onto this. unlike Photoshop where you have multiple layers to work with. Whoa. He made holographic butterflies for me. That was nice. We are going to have robots like that. They'll be around before you know it. Um. Give him some eyeballs. by the edges of his stylish square-shaped glasses. Square. Originally he had kind of a nose, didn't he? And he was... He's a bird, but he's got kind of a square-jawed face. Like a person. He's not, he's not the bird from Twitter, but he's blue and he has wings. He's looking okay. Maybe he needs a bit of hair. What color hair? Oops. Go the orange. Now that orange against that blue, that is a really hot, um, glowing sort of color contrast there. of him flying. Hey, you want another eye? There you go. And we will wash him off. I'm just kidding around, of course. We wouldn't leave him unable to see his visor. Yeah, 
has some weird color lipstick or something. Or... Lipstick, it's saving. That's almost ready for prime time, almost. to the gallery with no way back. See you later, Blue Angel. Wow. Now that is a smooth infrastructure there, isn't it? Of course, now the wall is all messy, but I can choose another canvas from the canvas printer, which when I was messing around before, it wasn't able to do it I mean, I wasn't uh, far enough in the story mode to have this revealed, but now it'll print whatever canvas I like, including a really small one here. I can 
these canvases are still huh, standing on the edge there. But I can knock it down. Yes, I can. Physics. Physics are applied to all of these objects, so... Oh, I see. It wants me to take it out of the bay before it makes another. That's a sensible arrangement. Take more out. Oops. Spray it right in the bay. Who's gonna stop you? Can I spray the bay itself? The bay... the bay is gray. But the bay is not just gray, it's also great. Alright, put it up onto this thing. Aha! It rotates. That's good because if you're doing abstract art, you might not know which way is up when you first start. You might not know which way is up. And you might decide later on what goes up here. There's something that goes up there. My paint roller will help me fill a large area. If I remember where I left my paint roller, that is. Oh, there it is. Pick this up. And, uh... What color does it need? What is it missing? Could be green, but that's too odd. That's too strange for it to be green. Sort of throw off the balance of that picture. But maybe... Wow, he says. He's helping me think of what to paint. There will be art helper droids. I'm looking forward to having one, really. Um. Oops. Too much stuff in my inventory. One painted piece of paper. And it remembers the fact that the paper has been painted upon. Nice to have it respecting details there. So, I'm going to raise platform up. This is a really nice studio. Most artists do not get such a wonderful uh, place with elevation and all of that to work with, but you can practice what would happen if you did have such perfect accommodations. And let's see. So now my big roller. Roll up. Soak up a bunch of that paint. And not going to paint a perfect circle. If anything, maybe I'll paint I'm gonna paint a crystal, because actually, it's the first day of Inktober, and um, the subject for today is a crystal, so why not? Inktober is a nice tradition where you... Oops. I need to clean my brush. Wait. Soak in the water. Even though it could be water with um, special ingredients added or something. So best not to start drinking that water.
So is it like a perfect crystal? Like a... Four-pointed diamond. So, the volcano skull guy is admiring the perfect shape of this diamond thing. Reaching up towards it. I see. I'm running out of white paint, and now I'm starting to smear that blue paint. But that is a happy accident, because that actually seems appropriate for this particular illustration. Streaming stuff. energy or coldness or something. Yeah, maybe this is the cold... the cold crystal. Considering how... Oh. Hi there. Can I remove that bucket from his head? Yes. Could I give him a different hat? Like maybe a sponge. Will he accept a sponge as a hat? Oh, wait. I can have him do different things. Turn him off. He's currently in this mode. Maybe this mode is wipe things up with a sponge. Maybe this is throw things away. Clean the targeted surface, I see. So, supposing I wanted him to, what needs cleaning? Right here. And he'll do it. Oh, that's very nice of him. It's like a Roomba, except much more advanced. Ah, he's happy. Mission completed. Alright, meanwhile... over to me. What am I going to do? Patting his head or something? Oh, throw. Or maybe that means clean up. Everything. I see, so he's picking up that used tube of uh, paint and chucking it in the incinerator. And I don't know if you probably shouldn't incinerate a bunch of paint because that would release toxic chemicals or something, but who knows what sort of uh, reclaiming system they have in this future. Perhaps they don't need to worry about that. But here I am. I finished this picture as much as I'm going to do it for now, and I'll take a screenshot, and 
and then I will send the painting. Sent to your gallery with no way back. See you later, crystal guy. Oh, <laughs> he's got more stuff to clean up on this wall. That's his mission if he chooses to accept it. Where'd he go? several areas in order. Clean. Or not. The next question is what is going to happen here on this little campus? not clean it while I'm standing on it. Maybe not. Got to roll myself up some new color. I don't know if I can pour water on him. That might not be a good idea. this lime green. Get my rollers rolled up. thought-provoking music appearing on my background. Maybe I'm thinking of the people I left behind on Earth. Was it really a good idea for me to come here and do this on the spaceship? Maybe this is the ideal place to do the art, is right by this thing, just keep Sort of a outdoor picture. 
robot. Well, he seems happy. something by putting it in there. Can I wash off my brush? I guess I can't because I can't do two things simultaneously. But if I have my bucket, and I also notice there's extra buckets and other materials in the other room. Actually being here in this room with uh, nothing to work on but a lot of art, it feels like a sort of si a familiar situation that we might have been in in the past couple of years. Um, Mysterious music there. Like we're coming to some strange conclusion. The aliens did it. The aliens brought me here. Maybe it's not people at all. Wait. Rotate. Let's see. 
Where's my bucket of water? Over here. Pick up the nice bucket of water. Pick up. And put it down. Oops. Threw it. Spilled everything. Oh, what a shame. can clean them, but I think I need water on my... Okay. Come back here. Cleaning him. There we go. Hey, wait. Don't run away. Come back. Clean. See, I told you. Could I tell him to clean? Clean what? He can't clean himself? That's interesting. But he can. He can't clean the floor. Because there's too much stuff on it. He could clean that area. seems good. I guess I'll be done with this one too, and I'll be done with this video. It's been fun messing around with uh, creative mode, and if you don't want to deal with all the... if you don't want to deal with all the uh, gamification features of saving up credits and stuff like that, and you just want to use the studio, this may be the option for you. The third option, creative mode. So, still having fun with such art, and I want to point out one thing. Once you walk, once you walk into your art room, the hallway ceases to exist. It's just a flat background, because they don't expect you to ever leave. You cannot leave. You're in here forever, even though it was a complete hallway when you walked through it to enter this room. But here's the VR center, another trash can. signing out for now.
if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and please like this video because it helps us. And uh, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. I have a lot of videos available for uh, checking out on all kinds of creative tech subjects. And um, if you're my patron, I will help you individually pick out your software and hardware for your studio, which is something I'm really quite good at. I know all about... that's, that's holographic. I know all about the different uh, um, software and stuff that you might need to achieve your various creative dreams. And we'll help you choose. And the thing is that there are so many good options, but some are better than others for your particular worldview, your particular purpose. Some of those options are going to be better or worse suited to what you want to do. So, um, whatever you do, be intelligent about choosing. Don't necessarily believe marketing hype, and that is where YouTubers like myself come in. We help you uh, get past the marketing hype and the imaginary way that you think you wish that things were, but um, seeing them in actual practice and seeing them being used by someone for a similar purpose to what you want to do um, can be very, very valuable and might might change your plans from what they started as to hopefully something better, or at least something that will work out better in reality for you. Dreaming is important, but it's just the first step. Making it real is that complicated, complicated later step. Anyway, thank you for watching.